Defining the technological parameters is the next step in an HSM operation. Because this is a combined strategy, the constant Z and linear passes calculation and linking are defined separately. Switch to the constant Z passes page to define the technological parameters for the constant Z machining. This strategy is used for finishing of the steep model areas. The passes tab displays the major parameters that affect the generation of the constant Z toolpath passes. In the passes area, leave the offsets at zero since this is a finishing operation. Enter a step down value of three millimeters. Enable the smoothing checkbox. By rounding the toolpath corners, this option enables the tool to maintain a higher feed rate and reduces tool wear. In the limits area, you can define the highest and lowest Z positions for the tool, the range in which the tool can move. By default, the Z top and Z bottom limits are automatically set at the highest and lowest points of either the stock model or target model. For the purpose of this exercise, click the Z top button to manually define the upper machining level. In the SolidWorks graphics area, Pick on the top face of the stock model as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. Then, click the Z bottom button to manually define the lower Z level of the machining. In the SolidWorks graphics area, pick on the lower face of the target model as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. Next, you have to limit the surface angles within a range most appropriate for the constant Z machining strategy. Set the angles between 40 and 90 degrees. The remaining default passes parameters will provide an effective and favorable result for the constant Z finish machining of this cam part. Switch to the smoothing tab. This tab enables you to edit the default values used for smoothing, which are automatically calculated based on the current tool diameter. Next, switch to the adaptive step down tab. In areas where the horizontal distance between passes is significant, this option can be used to insert extra passes and reduce the horizontal distance. By using the adaptive step-down option, the specified step-down value becomes the maximum Z distance between the passes for an entire surface. Click the drop-down menu in the Adapt Step-Down By area and choose Automatically Insert Extra Passes from the list the associated parameters appear. Enter a minimum step-down value of 0.2 millimeters. This parameter specifies the minimum step-down value to be used, which means that passes will be no less than this distance from each other. For precision, enter a value of 0.2 millimeters. This parameter controls how accurately the system finds the appropriate height to insert a new slice. Next. Either a profile step in or scallop value can be entered by using the radio buttons. These parameters are mutually exclusive. Set the radio button to scallop and enter a value of 0.05 millimeters. The cusp that remains after the machining is defined by a combination of the minimum step down and scallop parameters. Using the adaptive step down option, these values will be automatically adjusted for best fitting of the surfaces. Switch to the link page to define the tool link movements between the constant Z cutting passes. The general tab enables you to set the general parameters of the toolpath linking. For this operation, the default general settings are used. The ramping tab enables you to control the ramping aspects of the toolpath. Ramping is performed when the tool moves from one Z level down to the next. Approach points will not be used in this operation. The Strategy tab enables you to define the parameters related to the linking strategy. The default strategy settings are used. The Retracts tab enables you to control the retract movements between passes of the toolpath. The default retract settings are used. The Leads tab enables you to control the lead-in and lead-out tool motions. Enter a lead-out angle of 10 degrees. During the arc lead-out, the tool will also perform an inclined upwards movement of 10 degrees. 
the remaining default lead-in and lead-out parameters are used. At this stage, the constant Z passes and associated link data are defined for the operation. For more information on the constant Z passes and linking definition, refer to the SolidCam milling help.